everyone, welcome back to Chill Vibes Only Studio Wellness. My name is Allie and today we are going to be talking about the do's and don'ts of foreplay. Foreplay is such a wonderful way to connect with your partner and to be intimate and to build excitement around a sexual experience and there are tips and tricks that I've learned along the years that can help make foreplay really wonderful. So I wanted to share some of them with you today and to help you with expanding your foreplay experience and making it awesome for both you and your partner. So the first tip is to redefine and slow down what you think foreplay is. So foreplay, sometimes we think about it as like the first maybe 10 minutes before a sexual experience where we're kissing and we're touching, but we're not having sex yet and we're getting each other warmed up. Um, which foreplay can be from time to time, but I want to encourage you to redefine like when it starts, when it ends. So for example, foreplay could start at the very beginning of your day, when you know you're going to be seeing your partner later on that evening. Um, maybe it's a sexy text that you send them, maybe it's, you know, something that you do in the morning before one of you leaves for work, maybe it's when you bring them their morning coffee. Uh, foreplay can start very early on, it could start a week in advance, maybe if you're long distance and starting to build up that intensity and tension um, for the sexual experience. So don't think of foreplay as just the first 10 minutes before sex. A foreplay can be, you know, a day, two days, a week. Um, it could be hours before. Uh, so just kind of redefine that and get curious and play around with different ways to increase satisfaction before the sexual experience. With that being said, slowing it down is super important. Don't rush to get through foreplay. I think sometimes, you know, we're these busy people and we have busy schedules, but if you can really set aside time to really enjoy one another's company, but also build up desire and excitement because it's almost like you want a specific thing right? You want the sexual experience, but you have to wait for it. And waiting for it can help really ignite those feelings of desire and make um, the experience that much better. So definitely play around with the time frame of foreplay. The second tip is to experiment and play. So don't just be like touching each other's genitals. Um, really experiment with different forms of touch. Um, different forms of exploration of the body. There's so many cool things that you can do before sex, like sensate focus exercises, massages, like even light touch up and down the arms, like finding different ways to be playful and experiment. And not just going right to like the main source of sex is a really great way to help build arousal and build anticipation. Sometimes fun too to make like genitals off the table during foreplay. So finding different ways to touch and arouse our partner without actually using like the traditional sources of arousal. With that being said, a don't is to make sure that you don't just assume where your partner wants to be touched. Um, communication is so key here. So asking and, um, you know, making sure there are open lines of communication both directions of what you want and what you don't want, uh, and that's clearly communicated throughout, is a really great way to, again, just make sure that foreplay is an enjoyable experience for everybody and everybody feels safe and comfortable and connected. So you could ask your partner, you know, what makes you feel turned on? Where do you want me to touch you? Like, how could I make this better for you? Um, and then let's hear what they have to say. Then you also want to make sure that you have all the tools and stuff that you need for the foreplay present as well. So making sure that, you know, if you know your partner needs lube or you need lube, um, having it there. If you have been teasing them about like a toy all day, maybe in that earlier foreplay, making sure that toy is there. Um, just making sure that you can basically stay really, really present in the moment and you're not thinking like, oh shoot, I need to go grab that or oh, I wish I had this you know, setting up your environment and space so you can turn off as many of those breaks and blockers in your mind is key here. And then just make sure that you aren't, you know, performing here and that you don't feel pressured um, to perform. You want to make sure that you're being very open and there's a really honest flow of communication between you and your partner. Um, so you definitely, just like you don't want to fake your orgasms, you don't want to fake that you're enjoying foreplay either. You want to make sure that 
you know, when something does feel good, you're communicating that to your partner. And when something isn't really turning you on, you also are communicating that in a kind way. I always say on this channel, like, it's so easy to be like, oh, can you touch me here again? That felt so good. Or I really like when you did that. Just helping guide your partner towards the places that you actually want to be touched and vice versa is really, really helpful for ensuring that you're having a great foreplay experience. And then it also allows you to stay, again, super present. The whole point of foreplay is to build that first immediate connection with your partner and build up the intimacy and the desire. So making sure that, you know, we're in that moment and we're being as present as possible for it is what's going to help make foreplay that much better and the sex afterwards even better as well. All right, so those are some do's and don'ts when it comes to foreplay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe because that really helps this channel and we will see you for another video soon.